cook with induction cooktops. And you've heard about these, many of you own them, some of you are hoping to own them. What if we gave you the induction cooktop, the skillet that was compatible with that cooktop, remembering also that it has a special property. If you take a refrigerator magnet, slap it to the bottom of your pot or pan and that magnet sticks, it's gonna work on your cooktop. Now, you're going to get some recipes, you're going to get the indu induction cooktop, and you're going to get this 10 and a half inch fry pan. We've got it at a holiday surprise price, which is 25% off the regular price. There is no reorder on this, and it's five easy payments. I'm gonna come over and join Jan Muller immediately so we can start talking to you about induction cooktop. How Never are better. you, sir? Never Good better. to see you. Same here. This is also called the PIC. Yeah. Precision induction cooktop, private induction cooktop, personal induction cooktop. What I like about it is that I can now cook anything that I want to maintain the temperature perfectly without watching it. Right. So if I want to make a nice uh, beef stew, I can set it for 200 or 220 degrees or 210 degrees, let it cook for three hours. I never have to come back and check the temperature because you set the temperature to exactly what you want. Okay. Second thing I like about cooking on my precision induction cooktop is this stays cool and the pan is hot. Look. Oh, wow. Do that again. So that pan's hot. See that? Perfect. Hot pan. Hot pan. Cool top. So why does it do that? Because we're not cooking with an electric coil. We're not cooking with a gas flame. We're cooking with induction cooking. It's a specially designed magnetic coil that only heats the pan and the food. It doesn't heat the cooktop. Now I'll prove it to you again. Cook the egg, but down here it's not cooking. So this is gonna stay cool. So that means that it's much better idea. It's a better choice than gas flame because you can't get burned with it, right? It won't start right. a fire. It's a better choice than a regular electric or coil because you can't get, again, burned by it. This right. all stays cool. Where the pan is, that's hot, but where the pan is not, it's not. Ah, I like it. Hey, I want to let you know that our price and our easy pay go away end of day today. It's a holiday surprise. So you want to take advantage of this now, get your great sale price, and we are not reordering this uh, pan either. So what we have in stock is what we have in stock. Now, uh, that chicken is runt. It is runt. It's also ruined. <laughs> <laughs> See what you've learned today. I have. I love it. So the reason I'm showing you this is because the reason that they made deep fat fryers for home cooking is because you could never control the temperature on your stove top. It's got to be set at 350 or 375 or 360 or else you're going to end up with burnt chicken or undercooked raw chicken on the inside. When you're cooking with the PIC, any of, remember, any of one of the pieces of cookware where a magnet will stick to it. Now, this is the all-clad that we have here on QVC. So all of that all-clad cookware, magnet sticks to it. You can use that right here to cook on your PIC. That's But great. now, I'm cooking at exactly the right temperature. Oh, that's good. So um, lose power? I lost all my power on this side. So that's okay. So I'll just continue and show you that this is perfectly brown. Take this out. It's done. Huh? Exactly, it's done. Put that over here, and then I'm going to take another piece of chicken. Now, at home, if you weren't using a, it, the PIC, the induction cooktop, and you put that chicken in, you could have boil over. Why? Because either your oil is too hot, and when you put the chicken in, it starts to boil over, or if it doesn't, if it's too not hot enough, you're going to have raw chicken on the inside. So what we're going to do is reset our power circuit there, okay. and as we do that, we're going to remind you what it is you get. So here we're talking about the 10 and a half inch skillet, the precision induction cooktop. You're also going to get some recipes to get you started. Remember, if a magnet adheres to the bottom of any pan in your kitchen, it will work on this cooktop. 500 are gone. This is the final order on this particular model, and we're not reordering this one. And also, price and easy pay go away end of day to day. I think we have power back. We do. So let me show you very quickly again on my chicken, okay? So we're cooking with chicken in hot oil, but I don't have to worry about it boiling over. I don't have to worry about a fire in the kitchen, and I don't have to worry about undercooked or overcooked chicken, because right down here, I set my temperature for 375 degrees, which is the perfect temperature to fry chicken. For fish, you'd want to be around 360. So I can change the temperature here in 10 degree increments. I can also, if, I've, um, if I'm using my PIC, my induction cooktop, if I'm using it in a camper, I can change it to a 600 watt load. If I'm using it in a motor home or someplace else and it's only 900 watts, I can change it. If I'm using it at home, I can keep it at the full 1200 or 1500 watts. So you get to change the temperature, 
You get to change the wattage so you can use it anywhere. Now over here, I have a dry pan on sear. Now listen. Oh, wow. So that's what you want. So you can turn this all the way up to a maximum of 575 degrees and sear everything you want to. Again, here's what you get when you don't have the induction cooktop. You can't control the temperature. If you use recipes and you read recipes out of books, they'll even tell you in the recipe, turn the saute pan to a medium low temperature. Right. Or a medium, or medium high. How in the heck would you know that? <laughs> if they told you in an oven to set the oven for medium high, you'd go, what, I need to know the temperature. Yeah, what's, what's medium what's high? What's the temperature? Right. So here, they say sear. Now I know what sear means, so I'm just gonna let that sear off for just Great. a minute. Over All right. here, I've got my water boiling on half of the pan to show you again, the side that the pan is not cooking on stays cool. So it's a better way to cook. Plus, you can control the temperature. That means that no matter what you're doing, you don't have to worry about fire. You don't have to worry about somebody getting burned because this area will always stay cool, so it's a better way to cook. Now, I will tell you, we only have 3,200 of these left to go around. We're very, very busy on our phone lines. There is no reorder on this, and this price with a credit card will ensure that it arrives in time for holiday gift giving. Okay. If you're a baker, and I know you're baking right around this time of year, when you're making things like caramel or toffee or peanut brittle or melting chocolate, you don't need a double boiler. All you need is a regular pan to which a magnet will stick, just like this one I'm using. This is one of emerald stainless steel, mm -hmm. okay? And it, I can set the temperature for 120 degrees, which is the perfect temperature to melt chocolate. And I can keep it this way for hours yes. without touching it. I don't have to come back and look at it. I don't have to worry about it burning or not. Over here, I can use anything like Le Creuset because cast iron works on it as well. You bet. It loves iron. So now in here, I can keep everything set at the correct buffet temperature if I'm cooking for keeping something Ooh, warm for eight or meat 10 hours. Balls. Meatballs. Sunday meatballs. That's yeah, got that right. So you can cook about. in the pot or on here. You can take this wherever you want because it plugs into any outlet. And over here, I've got this boiling. I'm going to let that come up because we lost our power, so I want that to come back up to a running boil, but I think okay. our steaks are ready to flip. All right, and as we do this, I want to remind you, this easy pay and this price go away end of day today. Also want to let you know that only 2,800 of these left to go around. Credit card orders mean it will arrive in time for Christmas gift giving. Someone on your list has been saying, I want to try that induction cooktop. Mm -hmm. I want sear like that on my steak. I don't want to go out to the barbecue. I want to do it on the stove top. Exactly. So now this has been on sear. So I'm searing the other side now. This is the first side I seared. I flipped it over. When I'm ready to cook it, I just press medium high. 375 degrees, it takes it to the perfect temperature to be able to cook the steak on the inside as well, so you don't have to worry about it. I Lastly, it. because this is a specially designed new wave ceramic nonstick pan, yes, sir. it cleans up like that. Now, would you necessarily put this in the dishwasher? Yeah, or you can, yeah absolutely, you can dishwasher. But if it cleans that easily in the sink with warm, soapy water, why would you bother? Right? I, ne I never put a pan, any pan or knife in the dishwasher. Right. Even if the manufacturer says so, you know, when you can clean up like this, why would you do it? Who needs it? Who needs it? There you go. 2500 all I have left to go around. The going very quickly. Easy pay and the price go away end of day today. What you don't want to do is wait on this because with a credit card order, Jan, this will arrive in time for Christmas gift giving. Imagine this for oh, Christmas good, morning to make your omelets. Do an omelet station in the kitchen. Absolutely. Put it over on the countertop. Absolutely. Plug it in. Yep. And do omelets to order on Christmas morning. So, so when, when, uh, my, when my buddies come over for the men's only dinners that I have at my house here, um, I've been cooking on this lately because I made uh, a, an Italian beef stew and then I made a, a pot roast, okay? And so they, um, they're in the kitchen and they go over to the stove to look where the food is. It's not there. I said, no, no, it's over here on my PIC. So they're looking at it and they're going, what is that? And I said, that is an induction cooktop that remains cool where the pan is not, but it's hot on the inside. So take a look. Boiling away, and here's your temperature control with induction cooking. Put it on pause. It immediately stops the boiling process. So you now can control, just like the great chefs and great restaurants throughout the world that have all switched to so induction. So you kill the heat and it stops. Exactly. And then when you bring it back up, bring it back up, it'll come right back up again that easily. Well, you know what? You do on, do that on an electric cooktop, it'll keep boiling. Well, yes, because... Because it gradually decreases. Because we're not using the heat from a flame or a coil. We're using induction cooking. So guess what? 
Those guys said, could you get one of those for my wife as a present? I said, yeah. Hey, Jan Muller. I know just where you can get one. Half <laughs> of this quantity is gone. It's good. Actually, over half now, and 1,800 all I have left, and I have hundreds of people on the phone lines. Will we see you before the holidays? No, you won't, brother. Have a ha happy, happy, merry holiday season. Thanks. I, I love will. that. And you too. Thanks, buddy. All right, Good brother. to see you. Yep. All right. Hey, we're going to talk my recipe and Jan Safe Travels if you're headed out to California. All right, buddy. Hey, let's tell everybody that we